sugar or high fructose corn syrup subscribe universal tutor both sugar and high fructose corn syrup hfcs are types of sweeteners used in various food and beverage products they are similar in that they both contain glucose and fructose but they differ in their composition and production methods here's a comparison of sugar and hfcs sugar sucrose one sugar often referred to as table sugar or sucrose is a natural sweetener derived from sugar cane or sugar beets. 2. It consists of equal parts glucose and fructose molecules bonded together. 3. Sugar is used in a wide range of foods and beverages, including baked goods, candies, and soft drinks. 4. When consumed in excess, sugar can contribute to health issues like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and dental cavities. 5. Some people prefer sugar because it is perceived as a more natural sweetener. High Fructose Corn Syrup HFCS. 1. HFCS is a sweetener made from corn starch through enzymatic processing, which converts some of the glucose in corn syrup into fructose. 2. The most common form of HFCS used in foods and beverages is HFCS 55, which contains approximately 55% fructose and 45% glucose. 3. HFCS is widely used in the food industry, especially in carbonated beverages, processed foods, and sweetened snacks. 4. There has been debate about the potential health effects of HFCS, with some studies suggesting a link between HFCS consumption and obesity and metabolic issues. 4. However, the evidence is complex, and more research is needed to draw definitive conclusions. 5. HFCS is often chosen by the food industry for its lower cost and sweeter taste, which can enhance the flavor of processed foods and beverages. When it comes to choosing between sugar and HFCS, it's important to recognize that both are added sugars that should be consumed in moderation. The American Heart Association recommends limiting daily added sugar intake to no more than 100-150 calories, about 25-37.5 grams, for most adults. Ultimately, the choice between sugar and HFCS in your diet may come down to personal preference and awareness of the sources of added sugars in the foods and drinks you consume. Regardless of the sweetener used, it's essential to maintain a balanced diet with a focus on whole, unprocessed foods to support overall health. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.